I'm going to call the weight of the box B the weight of a plate P. So it's going to be B plus 20P for the weight of a box and 20 plates. And the weight of a cup can be C. So it's B plus 20P plus 30C is going to be 4.8. And I've created an equation. And then we're told the weight of the box plus 40 plates plus 50 cups is 8.4. And what we're trying to get, write it down here, is the box plus 10 plates plus 20 cups. All right, well, we kind of have simultaneous equations here, but three unknowns. But we're not actually trying to solve to find uh, B, P, or C. We're just trying to find a combination at the end. Now, the thing that jumps out at me is to, is to subtract these. If I add them, I'm just going to be getting 2B plus 60P plus 80C. Is that really going to help? But if I subtract them, then I can actually I can uh, get rid of the B. So I'm actually going to subtract the top one from the bottom one. Let me just uh, move it around. It's a little bit easier to see then. So subtract these, these cancel, I'm left with 20p plus 20c equals 8.4 minus 4.8, which is going to be 3.6. And that means I can divide by 2, 10p plus 10c is going to be 1.8. Now, does that help at all? I'm trying to get this. Um, well, I can actually now see that if I take this equation, b plus 20p plus 30c equals 4.8, then I'm going to minus 10p plus 10c, which is 1.8, then I'll get exactly what I wanted. So when I minus them, I'm going to end up with B. I'm going to end up with 10P and 20C. So it's simply going to be 4.8 minus 1.8, and the answer is 3. So you just have to play around with this. You know, it might, this solution might be not be immediately obvious, but trying to get rid of B seems a good idea. Trying to cancel it down a little bit, and then spot, you know, comparing it with um, the first two equations and seeing how you can use this answer. And in this case, we just need to subtract. Good.